This is WPTV. Welcome back to the desk. The Fall Classic is here. The Astros and the Phillies are in the World Series starting tonight and here to break down the biggest event base. We have Anthony, Joe, Tyler, and Antonio. You know, Antonio, the yeah, Yankees, I know they're near and dear to your heart. They're near and dear to mine, too. And they lost in the ALCS, the Astros, in four games. They got swept. What was the reason why they got swept? Defense, Jimmy. Defense. You know, two huge plays that caught out to me. Bader dropping that ball that led to that home run, and then IKF and Torres not communicating. And besides that, they never had a shortstop all year. So a shortstop's a big position. That can't happen. You know, definitely, there are a lot of dunkers that dropped in the Cleveland series, too. Defense was yeah, an issue well, for the Yankees. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that. Aaron Hicks with the non-hustle. That can't happen. you got to <laughs> hustle for the ball. Anthony, what went wrong? Jimmy, 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 the bullpen management was atrocious this series. You're telling me you bring in Clark Schmidt in game one. You let him get out of the inning after he, after he loads the bases. He gets out of the inning on a double play miracle, right? And then you leave him in, and he allows two home runs, and then you bring in Lou Trevino. And then with your season on the line, you take out Garcola to go to Lou Trevino, who you brought in when you were losing a game. It makes no sense. Jimmy, it makes no sense. I don't know what they were doing this series. And I'm not saying that's the main reason why they lost, but it is a big, big, big reason why they lost. It was almost the reason why they lost to Cleveland in game three when they didn't bring in Clay Holmes. Tyler, why did the Yankees stink? Uh, the Yankees, uh, went, what went wrong for the Yankees was scoring ones. I feel like that, you know, they just didn't get the, the bats going. They, you know, if you take a look at what they did, they, the, the team batting average was 128. And, they, they went 12 for 94 against Houston pitching, which is uh, not good, and that's what went wrong for the Yankees. I you know they wasted good starts by Luis Severino, Jameson Tyone on the road as well. Could have really helped them out in the series. Joe, what happened? Uh, I'm going to go with really the no shows and the analytic office. And what I mean by that is, you know, how needs to bring in Cashman and all the guys in the analytic office and, and take a look at them and say, guys, we need to change something about the analytics. You had a chance to go on the trade line and get Luis Castillo, uh, you know, guys out there to really help the line, help the team better and make a playoff run. You look back in the offseason, you could have got a better shortstop ever, a Carlos Carrera or also Corey Seager, right? But, you know, you finish IKF, you're eating Josh Donaldson's contract, which is absolutely terrible contract. He played terrible in the, in the Astros series. So, you know, a lot analytical-wise that – uh, the, off, the front office really needs to change if they really want to make that World Series push and win no, number 28. I don't think the analytics is the problem. The execution is the problem. The Astros are an analytic team, and they're, they kicked our butts. So, Anthony, you talk about bullpen management. That falls on the shoulders of Aaron Boone. Right now he's set to come back to starting next season. What are your thoughts on that? We're going to take a look at Aaron Boone's managerial career as a member of the New York Yankees. And don't let these numbers deceive you because they look good, but trust me, the, the in-game decisions have been brutal. He has won 427 games, lost 281 games in his career. He has two AL, AL East titles and two ALCS appearances. But, but Jimmy, the Yankees made it to Game 7 of the ALCS in 2017 with Joe Girardi. They have not made it close to that. The closest they made to that was in 2016, or 2019 when they made it to Game 6 of the ALCS. They have not made it to a World Series when, they were, when they've been expected to. They've kind of small year after year after year. I feel like this is a bad mistake by our mood. We've got to change the culture. You've got to get a new figurehead in that clubhouse. You know, Boone's job was to take the young players, called the Baby Bombers, when uh, Joe Girardi got fired. Now the Baby Bombers aren't so much babies anymore. The Yankees are getting kind of old. Joe? I mean, listen, it's, it's a tough... Um I know a lot of Yankee fans, you know, are happy, but, you know, you, you can also make the argument, too, that Cashman needs to be fired, too, as well, obviously, with the front office decisions. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I think if you bring in a fresh new face in the clubhouse, you know, maybe uh, it, it, it could really, you know, spark up the clubhouse again. Because I think Boone's finally lost the clubhouse, and, you know, making the wrong decision. He had a terrible Astros series, bad management, pitching, and lineup guys, and putting guys in, in certain positions. So... It's going to be tough to see what, what, Boone do, what, what the Yankees do with Boone this season. I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but he wasn't included in the team picture when we beat Cleveland in Game 5 of the AL, ALDS. Antonio, I know you're passionate about Boone, so should he come back or no? No. No, he's done. <laughs> if, if, he, if he comes back, I don't think I could support this team. He is, doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Look, look at teams that made a change this season. The Phillies, they fired Girardi midseason, and look what happened. They're in the World Series now. So obviously firing a coach can impact the team. Boone is not that guy. He doesn't have that it factor. He doesn't, he's not going to yell at his players to step up. He doesn't have it. You have Donaldson laughing in the dugout down 3-0. That's unacceptable. If I was the manager, I would have pulled him right there. Well, Donaldson definitely did struggle, Antonio. I know you're not the biggest fan of well, there's him. A whole, there's a whole reel of him striking out. Like, <laughs> Tyler, like, are the Yankees making a mistake, mistake bringing Boone back? I think they are because because if you take a look at what Boone has made awful decisions in the in the uh, 
in the against the against the uh, Astros, and I think that I think that he will he he, he needs to be gone because uh, like if you if you look at what what happened with the New York Giants and Brian Dable, they need a fresh new face, and look where the Giants are now, and I think that will help the Yankees out a lot to actually make them beat the Astros, and and I think that's what the Yankees need to need to do a fresh new face. Yeah. Tyler, I'll keep it back with you. Antonio alluded to a team that did get a fresh new face in the Phillies. They're in the World Series. They just beat the Padres in five games in the NLCS. And, you know, besides Bryce Harper, who was named the MVP of the series, who is your MVP of the Phillies run so far? I'm going to go with Gene Segura. And if you take a look at his stats, um, he, he is batting uh, 275 with an on-base percentage of of uh, 316, uh, one's batted in at five, an OPS of 630, and extra base of is two. Um, and but that's but his stats are not really testifying to how he actually is playing in the postseason. Well, if you if you look at take a look at back at what he did in Game Three with with he made that costly fielding blunder that led the Padres to tie up the game. Well, well, I think that since he came back up he, in the bottom half of the inning. He kept his composure at the plate, and he was able to drive in that tying one, to, or that go-ahead one, to give the Phillies the lead. And I think that's really a testament to how he is a, as an MVP player for the Philadelphia Phillies. Yeah, no, Gene Segura, he's never been in the playoffs, never had a playoff win before this year, and now he's in the World Series. Joe, who you like on the Phillies? Oh, listen, he's been a Mets killer. Uh, he's been a killer for a lot of teams, but I'm going with Kyle Schwarber. Uh, listen, he's batting 200 right now. Uh, he's got six RBIs. He's got three home runs. Uh, he's got batting OPS at 8-3-2, and he's got two stolen bases. Kyle Schwarber, you know, as a leadoff hitter for the Philadelphia Phillies, he's been a huge inquiry. He's been a, a huge impact on the team. He's one of the reasons why they're in the World Series today. Antonio. I got Reese Hoskins. He's not hitting for average. He's only hitting 187, but he's had critical home runs. He has five home runs this postseason and 11 runs batted in, but every home run he's hit has been meaningful. It's either a game-tying home run or a game-changing home run. He's phenomenal. You know, had that big bat spike. That was probably that's, your, that, that was electric. That, that, that's going to go down in history. Anthony, got some power bats, got a contact hitter. Who are you going with? I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk too much. We got to let the numbers do the talking here. Look at Zach Wheeler's stats. One and one record. Who cares? Here I have 1.78. <laughs> 25 and a third innings pitch. 25 strikeouts and a whip of 0.51. That means he's allowing about one walk or about one hit about every two innings. Absolutely insane numbers by Zach Wheeler, who has really complimented Aaron Nola as the ace of the Philadelphia we Phillies. Took the words right out of my mouth. Him and Aaron Nola have been a staple of this run to this point. But guys, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. The World Series is here. And you know, Joe, who's, who's going to take home the trophy? Uh, I'm definitely going with the Astros to six. Uh, the reason I say that is because, you know, despite the fact there's seven on the postseason, which is very, you know, very good, by the way, a very surprising stat. But this is an Astros team that was first put in the AL West again. They've been you know, in the playoff contention. They were in the World Series last year. You know, they only had one World Series, but they cheated back in 2017. But this team is the overall complete team. Pitching, hitting, lineup-wise, everything, bullpen management, Dusty Baker. You know, I think they're, they're that good enough to really beat uh, this Phillies team that's also very good as well. Antonio, who's your pick? Phillies in six. My, I, I just feel like I've been doubting them. I'm done doubting them. They're going to win. And I got something for you. Dusty Baker hasn't won a World Series. He has won 2,100 games as a manager, but has never got that ring. And I think he's not going to get that ring this year either. Well, this is definitely going to be his best chance to do so. Anthony, who's going to take home the World Series? So I haven't been down the Phillies. I've been hyping up the Phillies all postseason. I picked them as a sleeper team. I picked them last week to win the World Series. I'm sticking with them again. Phillies in seven games. It's going to be a tough series. Don't get me wrong. Astros are a very good team. But I feel like a lot of people think that this series is going to be Astros in five, Astros in four. Phillies are a very good team. I think they can shock the Astros. You look like you're repping the Phillies with that red bow tie you got on there. Red and pink. Let's do it, man. Tyler, October, October. got two Phillies, got one Astro. Who are you taking? I'm going with the wet October. Philadelphia Phillies in seven games. Uh, because I feel like they, the, the lineup is just built around power, and I feel like they have a better lineup than the Astros because they, they, it's just around Schwarber, Harper, uh, Will Muto, Hoskins, all those guys can uh, deliver. And I feel like but the, the, the factor is here that they haven't gotten hits consistently. They've been cold in some spots, but they're getting hits when they need it. And that's what's, that's what's really uh, helping the Phillies out a lot. And I think that if they continue that, they have, there's no reason why they can't win a title in the, against the Astros. I think it's me and Joe on an island. I think I'm going to go with Astros in six as well. I think that bullpen is something they definitely have an advantage over the Phillies in. And home field advantage, guys, it's going to be crucial. 
But keep it here locked on WPTV as we take things over from the fall weather and switch it over to the hardwood with the NBA crew as they make their return to WPTV. Stick around.